Here we go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Trench Renee channel. I recently conducted a poll asking you guys if you were in a room and your rifle went click and not bang and you were in the same room with, with an enemy combatant, obviously, what handgun would you want to have on your side? Spoiler alert, guess what gun they chose? The Glock 19 or the Glock 17 because it's the freaking best. Guys, I'm going to talk to you about why it's the best because I've been seeing a resurgence in People trying to figure out, okay, the staccatos aren't drop safe. The staccatos are expensive. Um, their favorite gun isn't holding up. And they just want to they want to convince themselves or reassure themselves why, to be honest, the Glock is the best option. I'm here to do that. <laughs> I'm going to be the voice of reason, okay, for both of us. That way we can just go ahead and continue carrying our Glock pistols for the rest of our lives and not have to worry about why it's the, why it's the best or whatever. I'm just going to let you know why it's the freaking best. If you want to support the channel you guys already know the freaking deal this channel is only funded by me so my time st standing here in front of a whiteboard editing uploading it, no one pays for it but you so if you want to be on the patreon uh consider checking it out and i'll send you a link to the discord thank you for those members on the patreon for keeping this thing alive okay why is the glock 19 the best handgun i'm just going to talk to you objectively okay objectively it is better than your beretta Objectively, it's better than your MMPs. It's better than your CZ. It's better than your 1911. It's better than your 2011. Objectively speaking, it is the most universally adopted handgun in the world. More, keep, more people carry a Glock 19, even with the adoption of the M17 by the uh, US DOD, okay? So people, more people still carry the Glock 19 in the world or the Glock 17, okay? You combine the two, they easily are in first place. So let's talk about it. Ammunition. Okay, ammunition is huge, 9 millimeter, 124 grain, plus P or 147 grain, okay? That's good stuff. That's all you really need. Anyone carrying a 40 or a 45 in 2024 is misguided and lost, all right? Reliable. They're freaking reliable. The mean uh, number of stoppages per 1,000 rounds, I believe, is less than two uh, for the Glock 19, okay? If you keep it uh, maintained, you don't even got to really keep it maintained, to be honest, because it's just going to freaking work, um, to, be, to be honest with you, Okay? So reliably, it is, one, it is probably the most reliable gun in the world, to be honest with you, okay? Uh, it's more reliable than anything else I've ever fired. Yes, I have had malfunctions with my Glocks, but it is still probably the most reliable uh, weapon I've ever shot. Uh, durability. By durability, I mean long-term durability, okay? Um, as you can see here on this gun, it has been fired a ton, okay? And there's only a little bit of, you know, dings up. Things up here and things a little bit, you know, a little bit of wear and tear here and there. But overall, these guns are extremely durable. The whole, uh, the people saying, oh, well, your plastic uh, polymer grips are going to crack after 10,000 rounds. That's just not true, okay? Not true at all. Um, so the guns are durable. Capacity, they have awesome capacity. 15 plus 1, 17 plus 1, 19 plus 1. Uh, some guys run the 22 plus 1s, okay? So they have good capacity. Uh, probably one of the best guns for capacity, but obviously you can get other ones, but that comes into magazine interchangeability, all right? Accurate, the guns are accurate. The Gen 3s were already really accurate, okay? Most guys could not outshoot a Gen 3. Almost nobody can outshoot a Gen 5, Glock 19, all right? That's just the reality of the situation. If you bump it up to a Glock 17 or, um, you know, then you just have a better uh, sight radius if you're not running a red dot for some reason, okay? Uh, so universal. The guns are universal. What I mean by that is you can pretty much go anywhere in the United States and be like, hey dude, uh, do, you have a, do you have a holster? Do you have magazines? Do you have extra parts for my Glock, right? They're, it's just universally accepted. The track record, don't really have to speak too much on that, okay? Ranger Bat, uh, carried them for a lot of years. When I was in the 173rd, we got Glock 17 Gen 2s for a lot of the shooting. Uh, shout out to 173rd. Uh, we got Glock 17 Gen 2s, right? Old school, man, they were horrible. But guess what? They ran great. By horrible, I mean they looked horrible, <laughs> to be honest with you. Okay? Um, but the track record is there. The weight. Uh, someone will post down below, I think 23 ounces or something like that. The weight. Okay? They're super, weight, super lightweight. Parts. The parts. There's a certain recommended for some of the springs when you should replace parts. Guys, just keep up with it. If you give it to Glock, they'll replace any, anything for free. Uh, it's really easy to change any, up, any of the springs out, right? Most of you guys aren't shooting the guns enough to even have that issue, okay? We're talking uh, 10,000 rounds or more. Holsters, easy. There's a million options for holsters. Upkeep, I just talked about that a little bit. Really easy to maintain uh, for weapons maintenance. It takes 
literally 10 minutes after running 5,000 rounds for the gun it takes 10 minutes, you know, uh, for upkeep. Cost, what, 550? You can get used ones for 400, right? Gen 3s, probably even cheaper. There's no reason. Guys, there's no reason to not run the Glock. This is gonna be a reminder that yes, the Glock 19 is the best handgun in the world. Gen 3 or Gen 5, you decide which one you want. Pick it, run with it, don't mess with it. Uh, don't mess with the trigger. Don't put a Glock performance trigger because they suck. Don't put anything weird. Just run the gun, okay? Either run some good Trigicon, uh, run some good Trigicon night sights on there, metal sights, and that's, you know, that's the only complaint is they come with plastic sights, or run a red dot like most people are running, okay? But uh, in summary, guys, and I do use an NSR tactical uh, inside the waistband holster or a T-Rex arms. But in summary, yes, the Glock 19 or the Glock 17 is, in fact, the best handgun in the world. Cheers.